Were you nervous about getting married to each other? Our families never actually met in person until the day of our wedding. this episode is a long time coming we get tons of comments you guys are so cute you're such an adorable family what a fairy tale love story yes <laughs> and I feel like we want you guys to really know us and not just surface level so we asked you some questions and the goal of this episode is to take a deep dive into our interracial relationship and touch on those questions that you guys have. The hard hitting questions. Are we as cute as people think we are? Do we bicker? Let's start off with one of the more common questions that we get asked a lot. And that is, were there ever any cultural differences and did it affect our relationship? For starters, I'm white. What? Yeah. You You're know. white? Yeah. Oh Seasoned white. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, like I am black. I grew up in a very black household. Most of my family is not in an interracial relationship. So I definitely feel like bringing Peter home was a big deal. I grew up in a Polish household and similar to Mariah's family, a lot of the people in my family are married to Polish people. <laughs> in addition to that, I grew up and was born and raised Christian. I grew up in a Polish household raised Catholic. While these may be big differences for some people and something that would have come up a lot prior to a marriage, I don't really feel like it affected us much because we were on tour. And when you're on tour, you're kind of like in a bubble, very similar to like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. <laughs> Love Island. Yeah, like it's not, <laughs> it's real life, but it's not real life. In reality, when we left tour and we were home, we were kind of put out into the real world for the first time. That, along with the fact that we were always traveling, our families never actually met in person until the day of our wedding. So crazy to think <laughs> about now, but it didn't even cross our mind that that was weird because that was our lifestyle. Because of all that, we never actually got the chance to understand each other's cultural differences until we were off tour and at home. And married. <laughs> Talk about late to the party. <laughs> Another very commonly asked question is, do we argue? Oh, let me take this one. No, no, I want to take it. I'm going to take it. I want to take this I'm one. I'm going to take this one. <laughs> Short answer, yes. We argue. Healthy. <laughs> sometimes it's healthy. Sometimes I feel like we can definitely work on our communication skills. I think a lot of people think we don't argue because we seem so happy. Yep. which we are a very oh, yeah. happy couple but there are times where we're like we like to bicker I don't know if you know any couples like this but we're both very type A and so my way or the highway exactly so we <laughs> bicker every day I don't think we've ever gone through a full day without having some little but it's not a fight. Like we're not, it's not big and mad and- We're just, we're just both right all the time. Are we though? I'm right. But I'm right. No, I'm right. But I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> were you nervous about getting married to each other? Heck no, I was ready. I was nervous. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why were you nervous? I don't mean it in a bad way. I just think like, for me and my family, I come from a family where there's a lot of separation. We all get along, but a lot of relationships and marriages have not lasted. So I think the fear of failing is something that I always had in the back of my mind. It's a big commitment. It is. I mean, it's, it's, huge. it's forever. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. That's something that Mariah loves to do. She always has hey. these hypotheticals. Like, if I were to leave, if you were to leave me, or I were to leave you, and I'd be like, hold on a second. I am never leaving. What's that mean? I, I am. Oh my God. 
I am never leaving. <laughs> The fear of failing is something that I always have in the back of my mind. I am very type A, so you know, I'm everything that I do, I see it through to the end. So I don't know why I'm that way, but I'm working on trying to not be that way. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> me, I was just excited, you know. I, I knew that this is what I wanted. I was doing it for me, for us. And I was, I am, still excited about where the future is going to take us. But you also come from a family of successful marriages. Yes, and marriages where they don't marry outside of their race. That's true. Have you only ever dated white guys? I get this question all the time. Like, how did you end up with a white guy, basically? How did you end up with Peter? And because I was a figure skater, and I was on tour. I was one of the only black people on my tour. So the guys that I was interested in that were on tour, you know, they were not necessarily all white, but they weren't black either. Um, and so I was interested in people, but Peter is actually my first boyfriend, my first real like, will you be my girlfriend? I said that, I asked you that. You I was a gentleman. <laughs> I guess technically the answer to that is yes because he's the only guy that's ever been my boyfriend that I ever dated and we got married so yes but also the other guys that I was talking to or had failed talking stages were mostly white too and I feel like that was more so because of my circumstances and where I was and who I was around versus who I was attracted to. To expand on that, I personally have never dated outside of my race either. Mainly because where I grew up, it was predominantly white in rural northern Canada. I feel like a lot of times people don't think about the fact that where you are and who you're around ultimately affects who you end up with. Did having a baby change your relationship? Let's put it this way. Before we started filming this, Aiden was a little rowdy. <laughs> right now, he's put away, he's sleeping. So we're trying our best to keep this rolling without waking him up. But definitely after having the baby, our responsibilities changed and our teamwork. Yeah, I feel like it's been a huge adjustment for us having Aiden, especially I feel like more so for me for because sure. I am breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. And with the breastfeeding, I feel like I'm just constantly latched. <laughs> she cannot catch a break. Even when I try to take him away just yeah. to play, he's always finding his way to crawl back to mom. And that's been very, you know, I've had moments where I just kind of lost it and I was just, and not at Aiden and not at you. I think when you don't know what to expect and you're a new parent, like people always talk about, oh, one to two kids is so hard, but I think zero to one kid is pretty hard. It's, it's a lot to learn. <laughs> it's a lot to learn. We didn't really grow up around a lot of kids. As much as we wanted children, I think we both were going in pretty green. And so we've learned a lot about each other and we're still learning. I mean, Aiden is only nine months and we really, I feel like we've made major strides and we've had some moments where we've had to like, you know, setbacks. Take a step back, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Some arguments, some tips that I think ultimately led us to a place of moving forward. We're still learning how to be parents and we're still learning how to be married and parents. Yeah. Because that's different. <laughs> we're also learning about the fact that it's not about us anymore. It's about Hayden. Exactly. Yeah. What is it like being in a relationship and working together? It ain't about the money. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Peter and I have worked and lived together our entire relationship. We've been together for seven years. We bicker. <laughs> As we've previously discussed. <laughs> It's a part of how we get through life. But I also feel like we've really been able to accomplish amazing things together. And that's undeniable. I mean, even just where we're sitting right now, like in this home and like with Aiden and being able to be full-time content creators, like we've accomplished some really amazing things together. And experienced a lot of new adventures. Yeah, so I feel like we know that together we create amazing things. The difficulties that come with that of like not having 
much time apart or you know when we have those days where we bicker i feel like we walk away with we still created something amazing and i feel like it's just kind of a part of the process like you hear people say it's you know it's not about the destination but the journey and our journey to hopefully success <laughs> has been really cool because we've been experiencing it together, the good and the bad. Yeah, journey to success, getting that golden YouTube plaque. I so know. if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps us a lot. I have a question for Peter that is not on the list. You're putting me on the spot. What was the biggest culture shock for you when you finally met and stayed with my family? I, w I wouldn't really pin it as a culture shock, but mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to say the casualness in gatherings mm -hmm. and the cooking. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. Grandma's gumbo. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and seasoning salt. I still throw the mayonnaise on my fries. That's okay. <laughs> Whose family do you spend the most time with? We definitely spend the most time with my family. It's a pretty obvious answer with us being in California and my family being in Toronto, Canada. We see my family quite a bit. One of the best things about us being close to my family is that Peter fit right in right away. Like he just, we go to family functions. Like you already know who you're hanging out yeah. with. It's just, <laughs> it's comfortable. So I think that that was really big for us when we were kind of deciding where we wanted to be and I'm so close to my family and so I'm just grateful that that is how that all turned out. Oh shucks. <laughs> Was it difficult being in a interracial relationship while being on tour? It is no secret that figure skating is not a diverse sport and so you and I getting together I definitely feel like we had some struggles like I remember kind of when we were first getting together because I was one of the only black skaters like that first time we like started talking like I remember people making comments like oh like Peter do you have jungle fever like Peter had never experienced racism before so I feel like all of that was something that he kind of had to learn and I feel like I had to like watch you learn that. It wasn't that I was oblivious to it happening I did see it I just didn't know how to respond to it or interact with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah so he would come to me angry and frustrated and then I had to kind of talk him down. For me, it was always the people staring when we were out and about on our days off, walking the streets. An example that I can think of is that one of the first times that we were out and about was St. Louis, Missouri. Mm. And somebody just felt the need to stop us and comment on us. Yeah, just almost like a, a they were kind of like, I like this, like kind of giving us their seal of approval. Yeah, yeah. Just things like that. And that's not necessarily specific to being in the figure skating community, but because we were on tour, we were going to a different state each week. Things were a little bit different in the South than they were on the West Coast. Like we definitely experienced quite a bit and it was a huge learning curve, I think, for both, mm, maybe not for me. I feel like more so for you. Yeah, for sure. A little bit of movie magic here. Aiden suddenly appears. <laughs> He woke up from his nap. <laughs> Something I think that was really important during that time where we were really trying to figure things out was to see how Peter reacted to these situations because I've seen stories or heard, you know, women being in interracial relationships and dealing with a person who says things like, well, you just need to get over it or you just need to let it go. And so anytime we did deal with anything that was you know, either racist towards me or us together, I feel like you were always willing to learn and let me explain. And I was able to kind of like, I know that he will never understand, but at least he was willing to accept and learn. And I think that those were extremely important for us seeing as like, is this something that we can do long-term? I personally have a curious question for you. Mm -hmm. And that is, were you ever nervous wearing your bonnet in front of me for the first time? I don't think so, but I don't, maybe. Something that I think was really special about our relationship is we were always really good at being able to talk about things. So, of course, Peter had questions, like you were kind of, I mean, had you ever seen a bonnet or a headscarf before? Can't say I have. <laughs> 
And like I'm, in my house, people will wear their headscarf like all day. If you have nowhere to go, you're not taking your hair down, unwrapping it for no reason. So I don't think I was. It was seven years ago, so I'm struggling to remember, but I definitely feel like it was a conversation. We had to like talk about like, I wrap my hair at night, I wear a bonnet at night, and I feel like you were just very curious. Did it make you feel less attracted to me? Why? <laughs> if anything, you were taking care of your hair, taking care of you. Yeah. yeah. So if anything, it was more attractive. <laughs> that you were taking care of yourself. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, I like that. Me, I barely wash my face before I go to bed. <laughs> Those were the end of our questions. Aiden woke up and he was getting a little rowdy. He clearly wanted to play, so I told Peter to take him upstairs. Before we end this episode, I wanted to share with you guys, I have been working on a relationship advice segment that I'm really excited to bring to our channel. It's gonna be many episodes. We're going to allow you guys to tell us your story and we're gonna break it down and see if we can give you any advice on what we would do if we were in that situation. So I am going to link it and I hope that you guys participate and I hope that you guys enjoy it. That's it for today. Bye!